Hey guys, it's time for another Nameless Beer Review. Surprise, it's a seltzer! Yeah, I know. Here's a cat. And a seltzer. A seltzer. Crooked marker. I'm not even really gonna pour this into anything because why? Um, I'll say this. It's gluten free. Um, which is a big deal to a lot of people. Nah, I'm gonna pour it in a glass just so you can see what it actually looks like. I've been told I should pound like every one of these because it was like a four pack of different flavors. There might be five flavors. I don't know. This was the Unbound collection or whatever they call it. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's organic by nature. Not going to get into all their details. All right. So let's get right into it. All right, here we are, Crooked Marker. This is not that other brand, the one that everybody sees. Um, I don't really know what to think about it. Um, zero sugar, made with organic alcohol. Yep, quinoa, and amaranth. Ooh, it's vegan. Mmm. Non-GMO. Yeah. See? No growth hormones. So, like, vegans can drink it. This one happens to be blackberry lime. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's almost like cherry hibiscus. May have frozen part of the seltzer because I stuck it in the freezer. I don't know much about these. Other than they shouldn't be drank warm. I don't think I'll be able to pound this because most of it's ice. That's not good. You look, some ice came out. Oh, more ice! It's a slushy! Like, should I cut the can open? Just so I can get all this out? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna cut the can open. Hang on. Okay, so hard seltzer does freeze, just as a warning. I don't know what that thing is. It's probably part of the can. I don't know. Maybe, oh, I see what it is. It's cool. I'll get that out. I know how to do that. That's what we made forks for, right? Forks. Um, yeah, here we go. Oh, oh. Where'd it go? It disappeared. There it is. Part of the label for me cutting the can open. The sink. Because my dumbass froze a hard seltzer. So it looks like a slushy. Yeah. It looks like a really purple not a wine all right i guess i'll try this out all right here i am with my hard seltzer blackberry lime here we go oh it smells wonderful it smells like blackberry lime i guess like it's supposed to now just as a heads up i like the croix like that kind of stuff so I'm either gonna like this or I'm gonna hate it wow that's really fucking good um yeah, that's quite refreshing. Hmm. I don't think.
think I could like shoot these because it's basically a soda. Um, with the slush that I've created, it's actually really fucking good and really cold. We all know cold stuff is awesome. I could not do that challenge of trying every single one of them. But I might try tangerine. Tangerine. Maybe I should do them individually. It's blackberry lime. It actually has the blackberry flavor in the lime. And my cats are still meowing, 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 meowing. I see why people drink these. They're really not bad. I mean, you could make it really, really um, alcohol -y. You could, you know, throw some vodka in it, make it a little stronger, because it's only 4.0 alcohol per volume perfect mixer for something but I could really drink them straight I think this might become a thing it's not good I don't believe it and this one's just tart enough because it's, well, blackberry and lime. And we all know how I like tart things. So, yeah. Yeah. God, cats. I think one of them's in heat and the other ones just want wet food. And I haven't fed them wet food in like a day. So, they might be mad at me. How the hell someone's... I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably drink this tangerine off camera. And then hopefully go to bed. Anyway, thanks for yet another Nameless Beer Review. I'm your host, Dylan. And maybe one day I'll have theme music. really good. Tangerine one. I just want to tell you the color is not appetizing. That's why you drink these straight out of the can. Almost looks like a pineapple Fanta. Tangerine's not a flavor I want to fuck with. This you definitely want to add vodka to. Good night, folks.